Alrighty. Loser semifinal zero deaths here after getting the win onto Graveyard Shift. Gonna be going up against Jackpot. Oh, try new ball. This is gonna this is gonna be really interesting. Um, also, I, I feel I'm excited to see lots of interactions between the Wiper and that Tri Social. We're probably gonna see a lot of trades on both sides. Now we see Storm starting off the oh the Dry got picked up super early. I I don't even know when. <laughs> yeah, wow. I, I think that some fallout from the ball point and maybe the wiper combo together, or like maybe Phoenix just threw Fizzy all the way down there, not sure. But that is just the opening pick, and unfortunately it's not really enough for an advantage for Zero Deaths. They are able to find another kill here, and the Ultra Stamp comes out from Isabel, but gets shut down. Ink just trying to put on a bit more pressure, able to find one onto Jared. Oh. And Leafy goes down, that snipe definitely would have been enough to combo it to the open if he didn't get the kill himself. And Zero yeah. Death is slowly taking control. The machine flank's gonna be a bit devastating. They'll find a lot of damage. No oh, one no. on the side of Zero Death were watching it. Yeah, that, that that machine flank was simply devastating. Now uh Jack has a lot of momentum. Uh Zero Death is gonna it's gonna have to try very hard to get in, but with only uh, two real entry tools in uh, crafting and Booyah Bomb, it's gonna be quite difficult. Uh, now Isabel goes down, so they're gonna get stuck a, a couple more minutes, and the machine also goes down. Yeah, we're seeing now the we use see of the Tactic Cooler here. Usually you can't really push too far on this map. It's very easy for defenders to retake if you get off your roof. But with Tactic Cooler, you are actually to do it. It's part of the reason why the special is much better on more open maps like this because when there's a lot more options to move forward, being able to go in and regroup to more defensive positioning that's further away is going to be a lot more useful. And that tactical just came in handy so much there. And Zero Death is so staggered that I'm not sure they have anything to try to get these no. zones. They do get a pick, but unfortunately, I don't think they'll be able to paint this in time. Maybe with the help of the crab, but no. Not, not in quite. time. And even if it contested for a bit, that Neo Splash would absolutely have been able to paint it back over. Really smart play there with the cooler. You have to be careful not to get staggered by that special. It's a whole different beast on a map like this, and it's something you just have to respect. And unfortunately, they went down just really quickly before they had a chance. Yeah, Jackpot really secured that game, just held a lot of control, and then just pushed all the way to her base. Even if they die, it does not matter because the Trisol is going to come back immediately. So, pretty good uh, control. Uh, they were able to cancel the resources pretty easily. So I feel like that was a very dominant game for Jackpot right there. Yeah, we'll have to see what happens next. Keep in mind, this is just a BO3, so Jackpot only needs one more game secure themselves the set and see that must be in a lot of pressure right now but let's hope it does not get to them it's just one game right now they can take their next two back yeah i'll have to see how into this next match it is tc sturgeon so we did just see how well zero deaths did here against graveyard shift and we'll see if it's enough i feel like uh, their aggressive core might be enough to push that tower through we already saw their comp. It really seemed to work out. It was a very, very dominant game for them. So we'll see if it works out against Jackpot because they might they might opt to counter that aggression with even more aggression themselves. Because this is a pretty decent map for Sloshers. So I wouldn't be surprised if I saw uh, the try new ball again. Yeah, here we go. Not seeing I've... any changes from the side of Zero Deaths. Jackpot, on the other hand, did a switch off the try and go to the sword. Leafy's been kind of working on playing that sword for a while. I know that's what she wants to use with their team. And I think this is the first tournament where you've seen them, like, pick it very consistently throughout. So it's very, very cool to see more dedicated sword players coming out here. Yeah, unfortunately, they, they get picked up first. Uh, well, now the Wiper also goes down. The swords tend to be the first weapons to go down yeah, in these matches. But right now, it seems to, uh, uh, Jackpot seems to be at the advantage, and they might start pushing tower pretty soon if they are able to get a, maybe another pick. And there it goes. They pick up the the opposing Wiper, 
Yeah, but Storm is getting Storm is getting flagged by the, the Splash, oh, wow. I believe. That Splash is that Splash is really putting in the work right now. Jared and now a lot of kills, and they have no inkjet to defend now. And look at the special difference here. That crab is gonna be popped immediately. And one thing you have to be careful with on Sturgeon, it's very easy to get your whole team stuck on the left side. You need to defend top right and use specials there to take that side of the map. Here comes the Zip Caster to try to salvage things. Dodging around the Inkjet and is able to find oh. a kill on the Yovan on landing before going down to Isabel. 1v1 here, Ballpoint recalled, but the machine's gonna try to stall. Four jumps actually gets a lot of AoE. Look at him playing those angles where the Ballpoint just barely can't hit. Have to be careful with the Charge Slash. Luckily, ducks out of the way in the nick of time. But a push all the Just... way to 21 has gone through both checkpoints, and they still aren't out of the defense yet. The crab plus ball point damage is going to be pretty scary here, but they need to get the wiper set up in the middle of the map if they want to get much pressure here. They need that machine to be pairing with it well, and right now it's a bit hard to tell what's going on here. Two of them yeah, go down just... finally, though, and it looks like they shouldn't need the inkjet just yet. Tri-strikes come out. Okay, the tri-strikes are done. Uh, oh, on their side of the too? map, the splash is now going to have to back off. And the sword is honestly probably going to try to push in and go for Phoenix, who's just kind of dodging around, eventually backs off. No kill, though, onto the spinner, but a lot of pressure here. Crab being used on the far side here. Gets 90 oh. headshotted, but unfortunately no follow-up for the kill, and it's able to get a pick onto Phoenix. Checkpoint is done, though. So let's see yeah. if they can hold on to map control. Tiobin getting a crucial kill onto Jared. It's 2v2. But Tiobin's going in when this team is down, trying to keep up the aggression. The machine's able to get one, but Phoenix needs to live here and also keep that tower in that location. Might actually work here, get some damage. Is so close to that Booyah Bomb, barely able to pop it. Jared sneaks behind, but gets picked off. More try strikes uh, happen. And the machine's gonna take the tower and keep going. So no, but the, the, the spawn is going for a flag and just get the super jump. And now it's both machines fighting. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the side of Zero Death is getting picked off pretty easily on their push. And uh, while they're able to burn some resources from Jackpot, they're not quite able to keep pushing the tower as they would like to. Now the crap's going to kind of come in on the left side, but there's not really anyone here. They're just going to take this side right now. But uh, it's not going to get much value outside of some area control, but sadly. Yeah, Zero Death is doing a great job getting advantage here, but they're struggling at converting it into a bit more than just a few picks, and that's kind of the main problem here. So many of them are caught in this bottom left corner, though. This is really bad. They're so clumped up. Isabel is trying to keep them in the game to buy some time, hopefully a few trades. Finally gets picked off, but manages to stall long enough for Phoenix to come in. And the sword's not going to be able to take out the Booyah Bomb. The Splash and Machine aren't going to be able to take out the Booyah Bomb, surprisingly. And this might be a great opportunity for Zero Death, especially if they can get the pick onto Madness. They at least force the jump out, which is better than nothing here. Oh no! Madness actually oh. jumped onto the snipe, which means there will be no GG Booyah Bomb. There's a flank, though. I don't think they see it. Jared went all the way behind them into mid, but gets picked off by the Inkjet. But wow. still, no push is going on yet. There's the crab we need on that spinner is the most effective spot to use it. Booyah Bomb for good measure, but the sword gets a pick on it. Isabel, one HP! Oh my god! But the crab oh. and lag gonna buy just enough time for the sword to get a direct here. You gotta be careful with it. And the push is stopped in its tracks just barely. And yeah, Zero only... Test does not have a lot of time. Yeah, only 30 seconds on the board, and Jackpot has almost all of her specials. They can do whatever they want right now. They're just keeping control of mid right in that tower to get that special advantage to secure the game with that crap tank if they manage to get it. But it's not even gonna be necessary. Oh, never well, mind the big booyah. Kill. They needed that to start things off. They need to get rid of the booyah bomb. A sword kill would be huge. That trade is good. But still, so many players at zero death are going down. Isabel's gonna have to touch the tower with the machine and the tri strike and the splash, and it's just too many things for one person to be able to handle. And Jackpot will be taking the set 2 0. A well fought game, too, from zero death. Definitely had a lot of opportunities to get the game. Did a lot better than when we saw them in the TV set, but unfortunately, it's just not enough to get the win here. And Jackpot is gonna be in the losers' finals.